After six days here in San Pedro at a not so perfect Airbnb, let's just get straight to the point. It's not what we were expecting. We decided to come out to a more secluded area. Our original plan was to book a beautiful glamping setup with a beautiful view of the lake, but it turns out we actually weren't even supposed to be able to book it in the first place. You guys weren't supposed to be able to reserve the tent. Oh, really? I had it blocked out for the entire month. Basically, there's some construction going on directly behind the tent, so we decided to upgrade and splurge a little bit and go with the casita. So we're really excited to spend this weekend, show you around, and spend this weekend in paradise. Welcome to our little casita. This is a bit of an upgrade than a two bed tent glamping setup that we had. A little bit fancier, what am I kidding? A whole lot fancier. And now I'm wishing we had more than just two nights. So let me show you around. Look, we got a massive king bed, which first of all is like unheard of for when we travel. Big windows, a lot of open lighting, and beautiful views. We have this wonderful big yard, a hammock. We can sit outside in the morning and drink our coffee that we didn't buy. So yeah, other than our beautiful, comfortable sleeping area, to the right we have this nice open kitchen. And I especially like that you can sit at the counters. It's really, really lovely when you have a sitting space in the room that you're staying in, no matter how big or small. We have a stove, a mini fridge, all the essentials with the toaster and coffee maker, and even you can buy wine from the owner. So apparently they make wine from fruits that they grow on the property, and you can buy them out of the bottle here on the shelf. The banana's free, because he says it's, it sucks. <laughs> So we might have to give it a shot tonight. One of the coolest things about this place is this shower. So, so this shower is quite different than the ones that you will find in Guatemala. It's first of all, incredibly tall <laughs> and it has hot water, which is wonderful. And in this Airbnb, it came with a hand towel. Our last one didn't. <laughs> hand towels are very important. And in this cozy little corner, it is the cherry on top to this casita. You have a nice sitting space and a little TV that you can watch Netflix on, which, you know, is really not even a big deal when we travel. We genuinely don't watch Netflix a lot, but we have gotten ourselves invested into Ozark. Anytime that we can watch an episode, it's like a gift to us, so we're really excited. So beyond this cozy little space and this beautiful, lush green yard, if you go up the stairs towards the glamping setup, you have a better view of the lake and you also have games and there's a nice working area and an outdoor kitchen. We have access to all of that as well. So we're really looking forward to spending some time up there, getting that beautiful view of the lake and passing the time with some tetherball. So far we really love our Airbnb. The only somewhat of a downside, it's a, it's a pro and a con. The pro is that it's far away, so we're not gonna hear all the noise that we did while being in the center of town, but the con is it's gonna be either a 30 minute walk into town or we're gonna have to take a tuk-tuk. But we actually found a restaurant right next to it, so we're here for lunch and then we're gonna continue to go back into town to pick up some groceries before we come back out. It's crazy. So we both got burritos. We also were not expecting them to be like with salsa all over them and you have to use your fork. Normally we use hands. We're back from in town. We had a nice little lunch, or well, huge lunch. We had a nice lunch and then we went and picked up some breakfast for the morning, which is just oatmeal and a nice bottle of wine to enjoy tonight. But our Airbnb is really unique because the owner grows fruits and vegetables all throughout the property. And he says we're free to pick off and eat whatever we'd like. And just sitting here, I can see that there's a banana tree with a bunch of bananas growing. I think this is an avocado tree right in front of us. And there's even raspberry bushes alongside the fence. I just saw someone pick off a raspberry and eat it. So, so cool. I woke up this morning from my jump yesterday. And like, 
my upper body kind of hurts because I think I jumped in the water like this, but my muscles are a little sore. So just a little update, it is 6.51, rain is falling outside, it's incredibly peaceful. We're sitting here editing our upcoming vlogs and drinking wine and I think our upgrade to the casita was a good idea. I'm really, really liking this environment right now. So our Airbnb owner made this pizza and I believe it's from scratch too, so they just froze it and kept it and then they threw it in the oven for us and it's like a pesto, pesto vegetable pizza. Yay! Pizza and wine night in Ozark. I gotta edit though. I'm in the habit. I'm, I'm having. <laughs> well, hello and good morning, even though it is currently about one o'clock. We spent the morning hanging out, working, unfortunately, watching Chelsea lose, and currently we're hiking. Our Airbnb owner recommended this like lake hike and the views are beautiful. So we're staying right underneath Volcan San Pedro and so you can really hike and walk around so many different trails, he says. Right now we're exploring one, one of those. Apparently it takes you through some old coffee farms and other people's houses apparently, so it's a little bit awkward but not too bad. So this is a bit of an off the beaten path trail. There's a lot of touristy hikes to do. For example, Indian Nose, which everybody hikes when you come here, but there's so many cool like local trails that many of the tourists don't do. So this is one of them, and we're really excited to see what the outcome is. Yeah, so far it's incredible. The outcome should be a beach, a very private beach, but it's a Saturday, so I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of locals and we're just gonna be the only, <laughs> the only tourists or really what's gonna happen. I don't know, but we're gonna check it out and you're coming along. So inside of this, so the owner said that this is a coffee farm from the early 1900s. He said that there's still a lot of like old tools and stone still here. Um, and if you understand the coffee process, you can kind of figure out like what is what, what tools are what, but unfortunately, you're not looking at two coffee experts here, so. Hey, we did the one book at the coffee farm tour. And then there's another building right over here that we're about to go check out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little spooky in here. It does look like a place that you would like store people. But I'm sure, you know, they used it for storage, of course. So we just found some cool machinery. Don't know exactly what it is and what is up here. It looks like this is where they do all the washing and processing. Unfortunately, we don't know coffee or the process well enough to know exactly what these machines do. This is definitely a place where you wash the, the beans though. And it's, I mean, covered in cobwebs and it's rusted. But other than that, it's like pretty darn well preserved. Yeah. So my guess is that this machine right here is where the beans come through and then they come through, they kind of come through this little like weird alley way and there's up to five or six different wash areas, two being bigger than the other three. But this is so, so cool. So cool. Anyways, very, very interesting. And we're gonna continue our trek. I don't think we went the right way. Now I understand why locals carry machetes, because I feel like they come back here and it's definitely needed. I think this is it. So originally Andrew was a bit concerned that it might be crowded because it's a Saturday, but there's one man over there taking a nap and then there's three friends over here on the other side of the beach that are swimming, but we have so much room to ourselves, and but it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Ooh, need some coffee. That was a nice little rest, and we're gonna head on back.
are now back to Restaurante Bamis. We just came here yesterday for lunch, but we are back because this is like one of the only restaurants that's near us. I got chicken fajitas, nice big plate of everything. And I got pizza. Instagramming. Yeah, it was an interesting combination. Pepperoni, ham, mushrooms, pe uh, pineapple, tomato, and then like slices of craft cheese. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> done and done. Now we're gonna go back and make some coffee because we have some work to do tonight. We need to plan. Yeah, we don't got a plan. We have no plan. That's true. 